Hi guys, welcome to the video. With the Witch Queen being released, players are finding new and interesting activities and ways to play those activities constantly due to the influx of new content that's came with the Witch Queen. One of the coolest things is the fact that they overhauled all the Void subclasses, bringing them more in line with the way Stasis does it with Aspects and Fragments. And one of the coolest additions is Volatile Rounds. Now, Volatile Rounds is a mechanic where upon activating volatile rounds and there are there are a number of ways to do it your void weapons now attach void detonators similar to the middle tree sentinel titan uh, subclass tree where you would throw a grenade and it would constantly make a void detonators explode as long as it was hitting them volatile rounds works the same way you get 17 seconds of volatile rounds on your on your void weapon currently they only work with the void weapons which kind of excludes a lot of your favourites until now, until you see this video. So, there are multiple ways to activate volatile weapons, but as you can see in the gameplay, I am using my Time Loss Fate Bringer, and I'm still getting volatile rounds. I'm still creating void elemental wells because of a perk that probably the majority of the Destiny uh, universe doesn't use. The, the community probably have completely ignored this up till now because it hasn't really had any good usage and that is osmosis so i got the time loss fate bringer time loss fate bringer comes with explosive payload and firefly as standard but it comes with a set of interchangeable perks on both trees and i got osmosis osmosis basically and you can see from the gameplay in the back when you throw a grenade it changes the affinity of the weapon to suit the subclass. So because I've got a void subclass, it turns the fate bringer. Now you can see there just underneath my super ball, it changes the fate bringer to a void weapon. Meaning, if I can activate volatile runs, my fate bringer now will become an ad clearing monster. But how do we get all these things to work together? Well, let me show you. So the build for this is very simple. It centers around one mod from the artifact, which is Volatile Flow. So pick up an elemental well, and you grant your Void Weapons Volatile Flow. Now to, to turn your primary weapon, or whatever weapon you've got with Osmosis, to turn it to your affinity, you need to throw a grenade. So we've got Elemental Ordnance. Get a grenade, final blow produces an elemental well. We've also got Elemental Armaments. So void weapon kills have an escalating chance of producing a well. Well, it's void in our case. It's just a weapon matching your subclass. And we've got charge melee well maker, which is charge melee final blows give you an elemental well. So basically the whole build is just producing as many ways as we can producing elemental wells to keep a volatile flow going. Now, if you have to store your weapon for any reason, you'll lose its void affinity. So you'll have to throw a grenade once you come back to it to, to change it to void again. So we've got this. Melee final blows grant grenade energy. That with a high discipline perk means you'll get your grenade back faster. We've also got void, void ability kills cause the target to explode. The grenade will clear big ads. The melee can clear big ads, big amounts of ads. So... Just in summary of this build, the idea is, if you've got a weapon you really like to use, see if you see if it comes, use Light GG or D2 Gunsmith. They're both websites that show you what perks and good rolls for your weapons. Uh, you Use that to find out if it comes with Osmosis, and if it does and you're really enjoying Volume 3.0, you can unlock a different potential with your weapon. Once you've got Volatile Flow, start making those elemental wells, Come up with your own build ideas. I mean, I'm giving you an example here, but come up with your own build ideas to get grenades back, to get keep producing elemental wells, and, and your weapons all of a sudden become three, four times more potent than they did before. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This one's just a short one. I figured I would show, show this build off. I figured it'd be really helpful for some people, especially with Void 3.0 being so strong. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the Witch Queen. Until the next video, you take it easy, guys. And I will see you then.